Moving to question number 51. In the redox reaction, x moles of zinc plus y moles of nitrate plus z moles of water gives a moles of zinc 2 plus plus b moles of ammonium ion plus c moles of OH minus. The value of coefficients x, y and c respectively in the balance reaction are the options are 4, 1, 10, 4, 1, 7, 4, 7, 1 or 1, 4, 7. Students, in this question we are given with a redox reaction and first of all we have to balance the reaction and then we have to identify the coefficients for zinc, nitrate and OH. So first I am writing the balanced equation. We have 4 zinc plus NO3 minus plus 7 H2O gives 4 Zn2 plus plus ammonia minus NH4 plus plus 10 OH minus. Here we have to identify X, Y and C. X is 4, Y is 1 and C is 10. This is X, this is Y and this is C. So students the correct answer is option number 1. Moving to question number 52. The incorrect match of oxidation state of underlined atoms is students in this question we are given with species on left hand side and the oxidation state of underlined atoms on the right hand side and we have to identify that which is an incorrect match so let's start with the first option which is PO4 3 minus in this case we have to identify the oxidation of phosphorus so let's consider it as X and the oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2 so let's find out the value of x. x minus 2 into 4 is equals to minus 3. Since we can see the overall charge on the ion is minus 3. So the value of x becomes plus 5. That means number 1 is the correct match. So let's move to the next option which is HiO4. In this case we have to identify the oxidation state of iodine. I am taking it as x. The oxidation state of hydrogen is plus 1. The oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2. So let's find out the value of x plus 1 plus x minus 2 into 4 is equals to 0. Since the net charge on a molecule is 0. So the value of x becomes plus 7. That means number 2 is again a correct match. So let's move to number third option. Next is F2O. Student, first of all, in this case, we can see that the electronegativity of fluorine is more than that of oxygen. That means oxygen will acquire a positive sign and fluorine will acquire a negative sign. Also, we know that fluorine will always have minus 1 oxidation state in its compounds. So, in this case also, fluorine will have minus 1 oxidation state. That means number 3 is an incorrect match. Moving to last option, which is CrO5. For this we need to draw the structure of the molecule since in this case we have two peroxy linkage in which the oxidation state of oxygen is minus 1. So minus 2 since this oxygen is an oxide minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1. So the oxidation state of chromium is plus 6 that means number 4 is again a correct match. So the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Moving to question 53, at 27 degrees Celsius, reaction for which Kp is greater than Kc is. The options are N2 plus 3H2 gives 2NH3, PCl3 plus Cl2 gives PCl5, N2O4 gives 2NO2 and H2 plus I2 gives 2HI. Students, for this question, first of all, we need to identify the relation between Kp and Kc. I am writing the relation Kp is equals to Kc RT the power delta Ng. So for any reaction if the value of delta Ng is greater than 0 in that case the value of Kp will be more than that of Kc. So let's see in which case the value of delta Ng is positive that means greater than 0. So let's see 
for first reaction the value of delta ng is equals to 2 minus 4 which is minus 2 let's see for the second reaction the value of delta ng is 1 minus 2 which is minus 1 let's see the third reaction in this case the value of delta ng is 2 minus 1 which is 1 and for last reaction the value of delta ng is 2 minus 2 which is 0 so only in third case the value of delta ng is positive and in the same case the value of kp will be greater than that of kc so the correct answer for this question is option number 3 Moving to question number 54, in the given reaction, equilibrium pressure of CO2 can be increased by, the reaction is CaCO3 solid, it gives CaO solid plus CO2 gaseous. The options are increasing mass of CaCO3, increasing temperature, increasing mass of CaO or increase in volume of vessel. Students, as we all know that mass of pure solid do not affect the pressure or concentration of equilibrium. That means the mass of CaCO3 and CaO do not affect the pressure of CO2. So, number 1 and number 3 is an incorrect option. Moving to option number 2, increasing temperature. Students, as we all know that decomposition reaction is an endothermic reaction. So, on increasing temperature, reaction proceeds in the forward direction. As a result, the pressure of CO2 will increase. So, number 2 is a correct option. Proceeding to option number 4, that is increase in volume of vessel. Since equilibrium constant is independent of volume of container, as a result, the equilibrium pressure of CO2 will also be independent of volume of container. Therefore, number 4 is also an incorrect option so the correct option for this question is option number two moving to question number 55 a reaction is spontaneous at all temperatures when delta rh and delta rs both are less than zero delta rh is less than zero and delta rs is greater than zero delta rh is greater than zero and delta rs is less than zero or both delta Rh and delta Rs is greater than 0. So students, as we all know that for a spontaneous reaction, delta G must be less than 0. That means the value of delta G is negative. There is a formula which relates delta Rg with delta Rh and delta Rs, which is delta Rg is equals to delta Rh minus T delta Rs. As we have already discussed that for a spontaneous reaction, the value of delta Rg must be negative. And for that, the value of delta Rh must be negative and the value of delta Rs must be positive. Only in this case, the value of delta G must be negative at all the temperature ranges. So, the correct answer for this question is option number 2.